Hello friends, and this week I'm back to the next scene in my future armor project. And if you're new here, welcome! So this is a project to animate the first few minutes of a future armor fan film, written and voiced by Dave from the YouTube channel Blended Planet. And he's making his own anime and cartoons, so you should check out his channel. So I've already broken down the script into eight small scenes, and this is the third one I'm working on. And the first intro scene is complete, and I've drawn some of the backgrounds for all the scenes, specifically inside the Planet Express building. And I've drawn and animated the Professor in the previous scene, so I thought I'd continue with him to the end of these scenes before adding the other characters. So the first thing I did today was to rewatch the animatic for this scene, to remind myself what the scene was and what animation was needed. And it's a really simple scene, pretty much more of the same as the last scene. There's just a little movement, and I'd already got a simple walk cycle that I could use for that. And then I just needed to add the lip sync. So I opted to use Papagaya again, to get the first pass of the lip sync. And if you're interested, you can see a card above, and I'll add a link in the description to a video showing how you can use that. So if you haven't watched that already, you might want to watch it after this video. So for the past three weeks, I've looked over three techniques for working out the mouth shapes for lip sync. And despite the changes I have to make with it, I'm more comfortable using Papagayo to set up this initial pass. But the main change I find myself making is just to simplify the phonemes in the words. There's always too many of them. But once these are removed, it's really easy to align them. And I'll still make small changes to the timing later, directly in Open Tunes, as you'll see shortly. Then I went back to Open Tunes and reloaded the Professor scene as a sub sheet. Then stepping into that sub sheet, I added the audio track, and then imported the lip sync data that I'd saved out of Papagayo, and checked that they matched, which they did. But then, as always, I adjusted the mouths to better emphasise the important parts of the speech. And there's always this second phase to lip syncing after you're using a tool like Papagayo. Until you see your character talking, it's difficult to get the timing and mouth shapes exactly right. And then I loaded the plastic tool mesh that I'd used in the previous scene, but I was surprised because this didn't include the skeleton. I had to add that again myself. So loading the mesh didn't really help. So this is something I need to investigate, to try and make it smoother, because I had to set up the plastic tool skeleton again. But I'm hoping that if I add it into the character scene, when I load the scene as a sub sheet, it'll load this all set up. So after setting it up, I added some movement of the head, and when he stood still, his body, to add some emphasis to his words, which I think went okay. So that's the professor added to this small scene. And it's obviously waiting for the other characters to be added to be completed, but I think next time I'll add him to the next scene. And that'll be an interesting one for me, because it'll be him sitting at the table. So I need to think about how his body will sit behind the table, but his arms will be in front of it. But that's for next time. So here's this scene so far. Most interestingly, it's biotech in origin. Oh, yeah, right. It was not manufactured. Oh, no. And I won't let it all play out to save some of the story for the final film, but you can see it coming along nicely. So if you want to join me for that, and my upcoming animations, tutorials, and OpenTunes news, subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoyed this, why not give it a thumbs up and comment down below. I love hearing from all of you. And that's a guarantee.